So tell me where you're from. From Portland, Oregon. Portland? Mm -hmm. I have chronic daily headaches, like a, a consistent headache 24 hours a day, pretty much. Yeah. Can you yeah. point to where it hurts? It's like, it starts in my temples and then kind of goes through my scalp. Um, and then I get like neck, neck and shoulder pain and stuff too. When you say it goes to your scalp, are you talking like kind of like a mohawk or more up to the side? Um, it mostly, it mostly feels like like from my masseter's back on the sides is where it's worst. Right. I wouldn't say it was like mohawk kind of. Good. On the top. Good. Yeah. Because the mohawk thing is normally cervical. Right. Right. Like profoundly so. So right. this is less likely to help. What have you tried? Who have you seen for this problem? Um, I've gone through two different TMJ specialists. Um, one just maybe like a standard kind of night guard, and then the other one was a neuromuscular, and they use like the EMG also. And the tensing? Yeah, the tensing. Then you use like the um, uh, carbon paper to try and like. Yeah. Anyways, that did, it helped, but it didn't. It didn't really fix it. He said to go get orthodontia, and then I did a year of uh, braces, and then I, he said that would fix it, and it didn't end up fixing it. In addition to that, I've done like Botox injections in my neck and temples and jaw. Did the um, Botox help at all? Um, not in my jaw, but it helped like in my temporal and my neck, scalp stuff. That seemed to help. Okay. What about yeah. medications? Any of the like muscle relaxers? Man, try that? I've tried like all of them. Um, I've done Xanaflex, uh, Flexeril, neither of those really worked. Um, Lyrica helps a lot. Um, other than that, just like Vicodin, you know, which has obviously got its own yeah, that's drawbacks. A world. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, what are you looking for on that graph? Like, what do you. I'm looking for uh, trajectory. I'm looking at how the teeth interact frictionally over time. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at how the muscle responds. Mm -hmm. Like this kink here, mm -hmm. I want it gone. Ideally, I want this guy to go pretty straight up to there. Right. Not necessarily perfect, but I don't want, but these call, I call these mid-course corrections. Mm -hmm. These sharp turns. I want to eliminate it. I want to smooth it out. So oh. essentially that tooth, the one on the bottom right, is hitting prior to the one in the corner that you're... Well, at this moment, it's, everything's clear in the back. Okay. But you see, when you first bite, first thing you hit's back here. Right. A little bit here. You're hitting right-sided. The next instant, next instant, next instant, next, see, see things change. Right. It starts showing up, and then it's pulled over to the left a little bit. Uh-huh. And it kind of sits there as you clench. Right. And huh. now you're starting to swing off to your right. Okay, okay. See that? Yeah, yeah, I got you. And then, so I dial in initially with this stuff, and then I start towards the end with looking at that stuff. Okay. Like, you're awesomely efficient right here. I mean, this is good stuff to have these kind of numbers. It's already it's already getting better, is my point. Nice, okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's definitely different. It feels like the left side is hitting mm -hmm. more than it had been. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've only done one side. Okay. See how he just goes straight up? Right, right, right. Source distance between two points is mm -hmm. one straight line. Mm hmm This looks good. That side's done. When you walked in, did you have a headache? That's a horrible headache. What do you have right now? Uh, it's still pretty bad, but... Um, it's not worse. No, it's definitely not worse. And look how many times you've been opening and closing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Try moving your neck around. Do you have stiffness ever? Super bad, just like slightly, slightly less muscle tension. Yeah, more relaxed maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How's the neck? Did that change anything or is it still stiff before? Yeah. No, it's, it's a little better. A little bit better range of motion? Yeah. Try backing up a car. That's think? definitely better. How about the other way? Yeah, they're both actually feel quite a bit better. Zero tone. Like nothing. Like nothing? Yeah. So. Zero. Okay, so yeah. 40 minutes ago, three, two, somewhere in there? Three, yeah. Yeah, now you could drink a cold beer and keep it there for, mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you may not drink. This is, you've been optimized. It's not 
It's not, look, I, it's almost impossible to get somebody A plus perfect. Sure, sure. Yeah. But you're like in the A range now. Okay. When you walked in, you were in about the C minus area. Okay. So your paths are much, remember, more fluid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Right. You're right. A little bit of a curve, but I'm not going to, mm -hmm. you've already ground the crap out of your own teeth. Right. Or right. someone did, I don't know right. which. Yeah. I'm not taking more down. Mm hmm. Uh, I left the old composite on the right side okay. um, because it was pretty close. It wasn't mm -hmm. right. We had to redo it a little bit as far as like recontour it. But mm -hmm. they kind of almost nailed it there. Um, on your left side, it was off. Okay. So I tore that off and replaced. So he only got one composite done, okay. which is cheaper. Um, the, uh, you know, time's going to tell you. You got to give it about a month. Okay. Now, let's say it doesn't work for you. Mm -hmm. Muscle from the occlusion is not part of your issue. You can check that off your list. The muscle from the, so what does that mean exactly? That means blow off the dentist from here on. Go okay. to the physicians. Okay, okay. If you've still got a problem, uh -huh. this is not TM, uh, this is not a muscular TMD issue after today. Okay, okay. You know, because yeah. the cartilage is not normal, and it's possible that it snuck through us, all that mm -hmm. screening yesterday, because I don't have an MRI. Right, right. I have the JVA thing, remember the up and down mm -hmm. thing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, um, I can extrapolate based on the spacing. Mm -hmm. Remember all that? Yeah. So, but, the bottom line is, give it a month, you're going to have everything you're going to get out of this like on week five. Okay. After week five, it's done. Okay. So if your headaches are related to the way your bite was because it's hyper-functioning the muscles, mm -hmm. it's going to be gone. If that was the only layer, it's, in a given time, it should go away. Sweet. Now, if you have cervical, vascular issues, all kinds of other sympathetic, other things going on, right. it might just be one of many layers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so you might be, eh, I'm 20% better. But if it's only the bite, mm -hmm. you're going to be close to 100% better. All right? I, I don't know what to tell you, man. You've got to give this kind of thing time. Yeah, I'm, that's cool. I yeah. understand. So what? It's been about 20 minutes. What do you feel like right now? Uh, my pain scale, like I said, I'm usually at least a 6. I bounce between like a 6 and a 9. Yeah. And right now it's like a, a solid 5, which, like I said, happens to me maybe once every 6 months. So this is unusual. Yeah, definitely unusual. I mean, especially because how severe my case was and everything, and how long I've had these muscle spasms that yeah. are like stuck, and then further to be just like in 20 minutes is crazy. So it's profound. Yeah. Do you feel sleepy? Oh man, I just <laughs> you can pass out right now. I would love to just. You need sleep. to go straight to the airport and <laughs> lay on one of those things, sit your arm. Yeah. Not miss your flight. Sounds good. Are you uh, glad you got it done? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>